<coughs> I'm hosting a, a little seminar, a little discussion about um, uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease and some of the surgical correction options that uh, are available. The date and time is uh, November 15th. It's at Mercy Hospital, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Down in the lower level uh, in the Integrity Conference Room. So if you just come into the main entrance, the, the volunteers at the front will be able to point you in the right direction. The Open to the general public. Anybody that wants to come can show up. So it's, it's basically just a, a brief little uh, talk that I'll give uh, that kind of gives a little bit of medical information and surgical information about uh, reflux disease and, uh, and then a question and answer session afterwards uh, that allows people to basically like they would be if they were in my office on a one-on-one, -on -one, but this will be more of a big group session. I'll explain uh, the benefits and the, and the downfalls of surgery. I'll explain the benefits and the, and the pitfalls of, of continued medical treatment uh, for the individual. Uh, but really, I'll be, I'll be more or less plugging surgery a little bit over uh, the, the use of medicines because I do think it offers a correction of the problem uh, rather than just treating the symptoms. Because when it comes down to it, the reflux disease is, is, a, is, a, is a breakdown in your own anatomy and how your body prevents the, the acid from refluxing from the stomach up into the esophagus. And so the idea behind surgery is to correct that uh, and, and hopefully get you back to a more normal, uh, normal anatomy for yourself. We've had kind of a little swing in how we treat reflux disease. So when I was in training back in the 90s, it was primarily a surgical disease we'd try to treat with stomach wrapping and, and some other um, adjuncts to, to prevent the reflux. And then we had the advent of the drugs like Prilosec and Nexium uh, that treated reflux very effectively. However, the long-term side effects of those medicines are starting to come to the forefront, such as kidney disease and uh, osteoporosis. And, and a lot of people are wanting to get off of their medicines uh, and get, get back to maybe a more normal uh, um, uh, daily life without having to supplement with meds. So we have, essentially there are uh, two surgical treatments for this. One is um, a standard laparoscopic surgery where we wrap the top part of the stomach around the, the esophagus to help kind of tighten up the sphincter mechanism, and that helps prevent the reflux. Uh, but that does require uh, cuts and, and surgery. Uh, and now uh, what's been available the last six to seven years are a couple of different options. Uh, one that I perform and, and another that a colleague of mine uh, performs, but uh, the one that I do is essentially done all through the mouth. Uh, it's a device that's uh, inserted with the aid of a camera. Uh, down into the stomach and wh what we essentially do is uh, push the esophagus down into the stomach and uh, attach fasteners to hold the two together and it creates uh, on the inside of the stomach in effect a nipple valve and that nipple valve helps prevent the reflux uh, of acid up in the esophagus and usually within about two to four weeks after surgery uh, an individual can come off of their medicines uh, they're starting to eat a more regular diet a uh, little restrictive diet early on uh, but uh, eventually they're off their meds, they're, uh, hopefully their reflux is cured, and uh, they can get on with life. The other device that's out there that's uh, showing some promise is called a Lynx, and that, that requires a surgery much like the stomach wrap, but it's a little magnet device that's wrapped around the esophagus, and it basically creates a little shutter valve uh, mechanism that the, uh, the food bolus can overcome. It can open up the magnets, drop the food in the stomach, and then it kind of gently pulls together again to prevent reflux. So I'll have some slides, I'll have some pictures, I'll have brochures available uh, that, uh, that shows and details uh, what the operation uh, entails. I'll also talk about you know, what's expected before surgery and how we, how we would uh, work up an individual for, for their reflux. And then also what, what we do during surgery and then what's expected after surgery in the recovery phase uh, and um, uh, what to expect maybe long term uh, with this process. Go to ascension.org and find the link to uh, Mercy Hospital. And there's a good website called GERD Help. That's G-E-R-D help.com. That's sponsored by the manufacturer of the device, but it, it talks about reflux, uh, details the procedure uh, for them. It also allows them, if they're not in the Oshkosh area, uh, it allows them to search for a, a surgeon that does perform this uh, maybe in their area. Oshkosh Today was supported in part by the Friends of OCM. Aurora Healthcare, 855 Northwest Haven Drive. And House of Flowers, 1920 Algoma Boulevard.